On the weather continues right now with the possibility of the record warmth on the way. Uh, many people will be looking for some ways to cool off over the weekend. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live right now in the Elm City by the water there with how people plan to beat the heat. Hi there, Matt. Hi there, Mark. Well, with the overcast, the clouds, the breeze, a little cool today uh, with the wind now. Some might say it's actually a little chilly. Not going to be the case here in Connecticut tomorrow. Uh, temperatures are going to start to climb, and already plenty of folks are making plans. Uh, probably stay in my house and have the air conditioner going. Man, that sounds pretty good because this weekend there's no gradual warm up. Rather, Mother Nature is turning on the furnace full blast. 50s to 70s is fine, 50s and 90s. People don't like the big swings. With four to five pallets of air conditioners ready to go, David Katz and the crew at Goody's Hardware in East Haven aren't sweating. But the same can't be said for customers. People are definitely starting to panic. It's been cold for such a long time. They get their windows unit ready from last year. Now they're finding out it's not working. They're panicking. And he says it's not just the ACs and fans that are in demand, but also screens for windows and doors and even grills. When it's so hot in the house, they don't want to cook in the house. So they rather cook on the outside grill. Speaking of being outside when it gets this hot, animal lovers know the drill, or at least they should. Obviously, hot cars are a big issue, but it doesn't have to be a hot car. It could just be a hot day and we feel okay, but the dog gets warm faster. Holding two rescues that are up for adoption, Dr. Sasha Golovin with the Animal Clinic of Milford says if you're taking a dog for a walk, do it first thing in the morning or later in the evening. As it gets hotter outside, um, um, our sidewalks and roads get hot as well. What I usually do when I walk my own dog um, is I'll feel it with my hand first, and if it's too hot for my hand, it's too hot for their feet. And she adds, limit your pet's time outside and always make sure there's plenty of water. Keep in the middle of the day walks if they have to go outside, obviously, very short. Um, if a dog starts to pant more, that's the first sign of heat stroke. They'll start panting more, looking for water, looking for shade. Get those dogs in. And this, and this weekend's weather will no doubt be a big one as well for boaters and beaches. We're going to have that part of the story come up tonight on Eyewitness News at 6. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.